So what drew you to the character of Nathan? I guess one of the most exciting things for me was just how reserved and normal he was. And I've generally played characters that are a bit more colorful and uh, out there. And so to to get to be a to get to be a normal, quiet guy guy, it's kind of exciting. That's uh, I, I I I've been telling people that I I channel my father's side of the family. He was uh, from North Dakota and. Finn heritage, and so that's the, the stoic, sort of reserved character that, that Nathan is. Had you read Stephen King's Colorado Kid before? No, but I read it when I, as soon as I got the job, I got to reading it. Does Stephen King actually have any input in the show? He um, signed off initially on their idea and gave the writers the, his blessing, much to their uh, childish joy. <laughs> and uh, we're trying to get him out here to show up for an episode, maybe do a, a cameo or something, but so far he's uh, he's probably busy. How is it filming in Nova Scotia? Oh, it's great, man. It's beautiful. Um, lovely, wild, end-of-the-earth place to be, uh, but not without its challenges. You know, it still occasionally seems like winter <laughs> on uh, every other day here, and... Uh, you know, gusty and foggy and rainy and buggy and all sorts of things all on the same day. But uh, but the people are, you know, r- really warm and welcoming. And, and I think being out here, sort of isolated out here, adds to the whole, uh, um, adds, adds something to that feeling that is haven, you know, sort of edge of the earth weirdness. Were you a big fan of the supernatural genre beforehand? Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily like a, a sci-fi fan, but I, but I am a fan of um, shows where there is more going on than than we understand. You know, um, this is a if this is a, a hybrid of Twin Peaks and the X Files, I am definitely a fan of that stuff. Like those shows, Haven has a strong fan base. How have the fans been treating you? Well, it's amazing. Um, sci-fi, well, this genre, but the Sci-Fi Channel in the states, and um, really has has that loyal fan base, unlike any other uh, station, I think. And that was something that I didn't necessarily understand coming into it, but it's been it's been really amazing. I mean, people people watch that channel for the the shows they produce, and, and they've been incredible and really embraced us and supported us and, and stuck with us through uh, um, that first season and and now hopefully into the big, bright future. And the international response, too, has been phenomenal. Now that it's coming out on DVD, do you think you're going to get a whole new following for the show? I hope so. I think the, uh, I think the first season, um, people that stuck with it can attest to the fact that it uh, it really gets clipping along at the end, and I think we really found our, our footing at the end of the season, so people getting a chance to see the first season as a whole will, I think that will that will gain us new fans. Um, all sorts of mysteries and secrets are, are, are paid off later on in the, in the season, and then we end with an explosive cliffhanger that was, that was really wild. And what can we expect from season two? Well, uh, so far, I'd say there's a lot more death and destruction. In, in in season one, we had a lot of like phone calls from the hospital. Well, everyone's all right, or at least they're going to be okay. And this year, people are just off left and right. So uh, the troubles are even more troubling this year. Things are things are amped up, and uh, and and there are victims as a result of that. I've heard a lot of great Canadian actors are guest starring in season two. Anyone you can speak of? Yeah, we've had really fantastic guest stars so far this year. Um, great Canadian actors and a lot of very uh, solid actors from the UK as well. Um, it's been great. We have well, Steve McCaddy, who plays the recurring character of the Rev, has come back a lot this season, and that's really cool. He's a wonderful actor, and a, and his story has gotten. Uh, that much more interesting. Um, this episode, we have Ken Welsh, who I had the pleasure of working with before, and he's an 
incredible actor. And, uh, yeah, it's been a sort of who's who of Canadian television. What else are you working on these days? Oh, uh, just this. Um, and until, until September, anyway, I'm locked up. So, um, so hopefully this for, for ten more seasons. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Have a good one. Good All right, time. you too. Really appreciate it. Thanks.